Good afternoon and welcome to the special news bulletin from SLR TV. News just in, several Ford GT40s have been spotted on display at a car show. We have a reporter on site. Steve, where are you? What can you tell us? Have you made it to the scene and what can you tell us? Is it possible to do a quick drive-by? Steve-o. Steve-o, can you hear me? Are you at the scene of the incident? Hi, we made it to the GT40 stand. Come on, we'll do a quick drive-by and you can see, uh, you'll see something that you like. I know you will. I'm sorry, but we seem to be having sound problems from a reporter at the Birmingham NEC. Five Ford GT40 cars have been seen on display. Large numbers of crowds and bystanders are said to be assembling to have a look. The GT40 effort was launched by Ford Motor Company to win long-distance sports car races against Ferrari, which won every 24 hours of Le Mans race from 1960 to 1965. The GT broke Ferrari's streak in 1966 and went on to win the next three annual races. The Mark II's victory was the first win for an American manufacturer in a major European race since Jimmy Murphy's triumph with the Duesenberg at the 1921 French Grand Prix. OK, we're up with the GT40s. We're just having a wee look round the back. Uh, see what you think of that. In 1967, the Mark IV became the only car designed and built entirely in the United States to achieve the overall win at Le Mans. Those are the latest live pictures we have. Clearly a developing story. And once again, apologies for our sign problems at Birmingham. Those are the unfolding events at the Classic Car Show at Birmingham's NEC. We'll bring any further developments to you as they happen here on SLR TV. From myself, Gregory Bear, in the studio. See ya!